Hello again. Today we're going to be demonstrating some very basic techniques to just be with your significant other and work the upper part of the body, mainly the shoulders, the neck, the head. And uh, one of the reasons I'm doing this is to show people a way they can do this without having to get on the floor and be in a position that's awkward for them so that they don't, in fact, put stress on their backs giving their partner a massage. And one way to do that is to just simply bring a, a basic chair from your kitchen table or any other part of your, um, your apartment or house and have them sit in it and just lean back into the chair. And what, what happens is this presents itself to being, letting you be able to stand up without having to bend over. So in this process, we have an easy access to the head. And we can take the digits of our hands our fingertips, and we can just get right into the, the skull and begin massaging. Doing a focus on the on the temple area, and getting a focus in and around the ear as well. Using a very mild pressure just going to the back of the ear and slowly dragging through. Again, just using the base of my digit to do that. Another thing you can do is actually use the digits of your thumb and your pointer finger. And you can just do some circles around the ear. Or simply just pull very lightly and just drag across the ear. One of the reasons it's so nice to do the ear is because the ear has a lot of nerve endings that actually connect to the inner aspect of the body and relaxes the body from within. You'd be surprised at how much tension is held in the ear itself. Great way to relax the body from the inside out. Let's take those digits and go back into the temple. If the person's feeling a little uncomfortable supporting their neck, you can actually just have them lean the head against your, your body. And then in that process, it takes less effort for them to hold their head up. And what I'm doing now is I'm just taking my digits and going to the base of the skull. And just doing a little massage, doing some circles, right where the base of the skull meets the neck. There's two basic points called the, the mastoid process and the occipit. They're two bony landmarks at the base of the skull, and you can feel a line connecting the two. And that's the area I'm focusing on. It's kind of right where the hairline meets the, the upper part of the neck. And just doing a little massage in there. Another great technique is just using the digits again, a little more in the center, and coming into the neck. Just dragging straight out and just sort of pulling the tension out of the neck itself. When you're doing this, it is important to keep focused on the side of the neck and the back and really not work in the front. The front of the neck has endangerment sites and you want to stay away from that area. Another important point is not to put pressure on the spine and push directly into it. Work to the side of the spine. So just go to the edge of the spine to the side of the neck and focus in this area. Okay. What I'd like to do now is just take the tips of my thumb and actually do a couple of circles right around the shoulder blade area. Again, either side of the spine and on the inside of the shoulder blade. So we want to go between the edge of the shoulder blade and the spine, right in between these two areas, right here. And you can take your thumb tip and just do some nice medium pressured circles 
or you can even just drag straight up, nice and slow. You'll feel areas that are hard and tense. And if you go slow enough and apply a little bit of pressure, you'll feel those areas break up and dissipate and change from hard to soft. And that's one of the best ways you're going to realize you've created a relaxation response in that muscle. And that's the whole idea, is you want to detect that tension through your touch and have it dissipate right under your hand. What I'm going to do now is just take the heel of my hand and just go across the area where I applied some pressure and just smooth it out. How does that feel, Valerie? Great. Great. Okay. Now again, because the back of the chair is going to come to roughly where the shoulder blade area is, this video is just to demonstrate working from the shoulders up into the skull and the neck. Another helpful area to focus on would be to just come over to the top of the pectoral region on the chest and take the heel of your hand again and just press into that area a little bit. What this will do is actually create less rotation in the shoulder and the more rotation that can be worked out of the shoulder itself creates a relaxation response to the back of the neck and the top of the back as well. And we are using about a medium pressure with this. Again, nothing too hard because we just want to do a nice, easy, relaxing session with this person and just make them feel good. If you need to get some real structural change in the body, you would want to go see a professional therapist who could help you understand how that's integrated into a massage. And that would be for a more advanced level. the mastoid process, right where the hairline is. And again, just taking the digits of my hands and my thumb and just pulling the tension out of the sides of the neck. Not too hard, but nice and slow. If you go slow enough, you'll be able to feel the tension dissipate under the fingertip. And that is key to knowing you've created a result. And you can lean your head back into my body if that helps you not have to support yourself as much. And let's massage those temples one more time. Come right to the side. Let's go to the edge of the ears and just pull up right around the back of the ears again. And right to the bottom. Come up to the sides. And let's take the heel of the, the palm of the hand and smooth that back out. It's always good to warm up an area and then smooth it out in the end after, you, after you've worked on it. Thank you very much.